a very good evening uh, dear brothers uh, we thank our lord uh, for giving us uh, one uh, other opportunity to come and discuss uh, many things about his uh, wonderful words of life uh, so today uh, we have been studying uh, till now so many things about uh, uh, revelation and especially about the antichrist uh, system so we have finished uh, uh, how the uh antichrist system uh, is a not a individual uh, but a corrupt religious system uh, which uses the name of christ uh, which uses the scriptures in a wrong way and we have seen that uh, the antichrist is not only the roman catholic system but it is uh, including all the protestant denominations uh, the mother and the daughter were called as harlots in the bible therefore the term babylon is given to them so today we are going to see how this uh, symbolic uh, uh, representation of antichrist is given to us in uh, revelation 12 chapter first of all we need to understand that the revelation book is totally a symbolic book it is not a literal book uh, that is uh, given to us uh, so whatever is there each and every thing has got some uh, real uh, other meaning in it so let us uh, see how uh, this is given to us in revelation 12 chapter Revelation 12 chapter verses 1 and 2 brother. Marsha um, brother, you there? You can read? Okay, I think network is show Ashish brother. You will join again. Okay, please. Let's wait. Okay. Revelation 2 will say one uh, verse 1 and 2 is uh, like this. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of two well stars. And she being with child cried, traveling in birth and pain to be delivered. Okay. So here in Revelation 12, chapter 1st verse is given that uh, there appeared a great wonder in heaven. You see, a woman was clothed with the uh, sun and the uh, moon was under the feet and upon her head uh, was a head of a uh, uh, crown uh, uh, of 12 stars uh, and she was uh, bearing with a child uh, and he was uh, tra uh, traveling in pain and uh, to be delivered it seems. Uh. Now, uh, read next what happens to, uh, to the child. Uh, verse... Uh, uh, Five, verse 5, brother. Huh. Okay, brother, verse 5. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a root of iron, with a rod of iron, and her child was caused up unto God and to his throne. You see? And uh, immediately she brought forth a man child who was to rule all the nations. Uh, you see? Uh, with the rod of iron and uh, the child was caught to the throne of God it seems. So generally uh, who is this uh, woman? What do you tell Moshe Mother? Who is this woman? I think it's a Mary. Very good. So that's the excellent definition and the general definition where everybody every Christian tells that this is Mother Mary pictured in Revelation. See she is compared to a woman in heaven. She is in heaven and she is clothed in sun. Huh? When was Mother Mary clothed in sun? When was she standing upon the moon? When she, did she have a tall, you see, uh, you see, a, a tall star's crown? And moreover, uh, you see, as soon as the child was born, the child was caught up to heaven, it seems. Uh, okay. That means uh, everybody think that as soon as Jesus was born, he was sitting on the throne of God and he was God's representative, he was ruling. Okay. That's all fine. Okay. Now read verse 6, brother. Huh. Hmm. Verse 6. You're, you're there, Bosom, brother? Yeah, I am there. Yeah, I just read it. Brother, do you hear my voice? Yeah, I'm hearing. You can read Revelation 12, 6. 
Okay. You are muted. So sorry for that, brother. Yeah, I started again. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her three thousand two hundred and thirty scores days. See, as soon as uh, the child was born, you see, the child was caught up to the throne of God. It seems, and uh, where did the woman go? Uh, where did the woman run away, brother? Into the wilderness. Into the wilderness. Into the desert. No. Yeah. You tell me. When did Mary run away? As soon as Jesus was born away. Did Mary run away to any desert? Eh? As soon as Jesus was born. Eh? Imagine if uh, uh, you become the prime minister of Japan. Eh? Do you think uh, your mother and your father will run away from you, leaving you alone? No. Wherever they might be, they will come and join you. Why? Because you are in supreme power. You see? But here, Jesus was caught up to the throne of God, it seems. And automatically, immediately, Mary ran away, it seems. Uh, this seems to be very strange. Uh. And when did Mary wear this uh, uh, golden, uh, you see, the sun's uh, silk sari, <laughs> standing up on the moon? Actually, you see, the Revelation book uh, is totally a symbolic book. This is not a literal book at all. How, how can we say that when it is not a literal book? Read Revelation, first chapter, first verse, brother. There only it is given. Read, brother. Uh. That which was from the beginning, which was have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handed for the word of life. The Revelation 1 1, brother. Muslim, brother, you're there? Revelation of. Yeah, so sorry, brother. I, uh, I was on the zone. I'm so sorry for that. Okay. You have the Bible with you? I have the Bible with me. Okay. You are comfortable? Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, I'm comfortable now. Mm, okay. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to sew under his servant things, which must shortly come to pass. And she sent and signified it by his angels unto his servant zone. You see, he sent and signified. You see, uh, it by his angel unto John. So what did God uh, tell? Signified. Signified means what? This is all spoken in a sign language. Therefore, you see, what does God say in verse 11? It tells to John to write what those ceased. Read, brother. Verse 11, brother. Uh. Sing, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what those seed? Within, write in a book and ah, send it on. Okay, brother. See, what, what those seest? Write it in a book. That means what you are seeing. Write it in a book means what? What was shown here is all the pictures. That is all the picture, you see, about which John has written. He saw a wonder in heaven. Correct now, brother? Now read Revelation 12, 1, brother. Revelation 12, 1. Read again, brother. Huh? And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A hmm. moment. Wait. There appeared a great Wonder. That means this is not a literal thing that happened in heaven. So, here it is a wonder. That means it was a vision where John was shown something in heaven. Now, heaven in the Bible means what? Uh, you see, heaven in the Bible is actually having three meanings. We have studied it one in the first class about the three world. See, the first meaning of heaven in the Bible is the abode of God, where God himself is staying. Jesus taught us to pray, our Father which art in heaven, that is a little heaven where God is staying. Okay? And the second meaning of heaven in the Bible is uh, the outer universe. That uh, also is called as heaven in the Bible. Therefore, uh, you see in the second day that uh, God created the heaven. But in the first day also we read that God had already created heaven. So in the first day, you see the creative day, the heaven that is mentioned is speaking of the outer universe. 
and in the second day the heaven that is mentioned is a uh, earth atmosphere the sky of the third meaning is the earth atmosphere the invisible ruling power from where from where you see the great adversary is ruling correct no see uh, the great adversary satan where is he, where is he ruling he is the prince of the power of the air can we see him if you look into the sky can we see him brother no we can't brother we can't uh, so he is invisible ruler of this uh, earth atmosphere so here the heaven is meaning you see the invisible rulership you see in the spiritual rulership there was a wonder it seems and you saw a woman now what is the meaning of women in the bible you see the church is always compared to women in the bible read second corinthians 11:2 brother second corinthians 11:2 Uh, okay, brother. Second Corinthians eleven two is written here. Mm. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have exposed you to the husband to one husband that I may present you as a castle virgin to Christ. See, here the church is compared to a virgin, a woman. You see, and she is engaged to Christ himself. But here, you see, here what has happened? The woman is, uh, huh? Uh, traveling in pain to be delivered uh, that means something which is immoral that was not supposed to grow is growing inside this woman and who is this woman if you see this is the church that's what apostle paul said this is the church okay and uh, something uh, illegal was growing uh, uh, inside her we'll see what is that one okay and uh, she was uh, crowned with uh, stars uh, you see How many stars is given there, brother? Revelation twelve chapter first verse. How many stars? Two billion stars. Very Two good. Twelve stars. Why not thirteen, fourteen, fifteen? Huh? You could have given ten also, no? Why only twelve stars? Now who are the twelve? You see stars of the Bible. Tell me. Twelve who shined as stars in the New Testament. Twelve. Who are they? Guess. I'll give you a clue. Huh? What's the matter? I'll give you a clue. Yeah, I'm waiting for the clue. Okay. Now, you're you're comfortable or you're busy? No, I'm comfortable. But uh, nearby my room there is going party because my friends are leaving tomorrow. So okay. uh, it's it's well. You're able to concentrate. Huh? Yeah. Okay. No, no problem. Okay. See. Eh? Uh, how many disciples did Jesus have? Jesus have two disciples. After a short period, uh, the one added. Uh, then who was replaced by uh, Judas? Uh, who the Judas was replaced by whom? Uh, Apostle and Judas. Apostle? Who did a lot of ministry? I forgot his name actually. Ah, the one who has written most of the New Testament. Who is it? He persecuted the church. He went all over. A Paul. Paul is not there. Very good. His name is Apostle Paul. So there were twelve apostles who were shining as stars in the Bible. Therefore, here the twelve stars represents the twelve apostles. So, okay. Now, what is the meaning of the sun and the moon? If you see, you see the sun in the Bible always represents the New Testament, and the moon represents the Old Testament. How? You see, the moon doesn't have its own light. It only reflects the light of the sun. So, similarly. the sun is the new testament that is the light okay and without this light of the new testament old testament can never be understood at all 
So the church was standing upon the foundation of the Old Testament and she was completely covered with the New Testament. And uh, you see, the crown of the church was the 12 apostles. You see, and this was uh, the wonder which uh, John saw in the spiritual ruling power. Read Ephesians 2.20, brother. In our build upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief corner stone. Very good, brother. So Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. You see, we have built upon the foundation of the prophets. That is the, you see, moon. That is the foundation upon which the church stood. And she was clothed with the New Testament. Now read verse 13, brother. Uh, sorry, verse 3. Revelation 12, 3. What happened? Huh? Uh, and there appear another wonder in heaven, and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Very good. And uh, suddenly there appeared one more wonder it seems. Uh, there was a great red dragon, you see, having seven heads, ten horns and uh, seven crowns upon his heads, uh, you see, standing before that uh, woman it seems. Uh, now, what is this uh, great uh, red dragon? Have you read about this uh, uh, dragon having uh, ten horns, uh, seven heads, anywhere in the Bible? Have you read about that? Anywhere? About the beast having uh, ten horns uh, on his head? Eh? Do you remember this class? Uh? Yeah, you remember this class, brother? Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, I already did it. Mm, Daniel 7 chapter. Now, which is the beast uh, where we see as a dragon having horns on his head? Which is the beast? You see, you, you can see four beasts, no? Among the four beasts, which is the one which is having horns on the head? Dragon. Very good. So, that represents the Rome Empire. Okay? So, the Roman Empire was always standing before the church you see, to completely destroy her. See, that is given in Revelation 12.4. Revelation 12.4. Huh? Read. Brother? A Revelation 12.4. And he still drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered. For to devour her child as soon as it was born. You see, the dragon was ready to devour the child as soon as the child was born, it seems. You see, uh, and uh, it drew the third part of the you see, stars of uh, sky, it seems. Now, what is the meaning of this one? You see, the thing that which is uh, abnormally growing inside the church, which was not supposed to grow, is the great antichrist system. You see, the great antichrist system was not God's plan at all. So, but unfortunately, when apostles, they were leaving itself, what did Apostle Paul say? After my going, many people will come with, the, you see, a, a wolf with the sheep clothing and draw away the disciples, you see, after them, you see, instead of making them the disciples of Christ. In 1 John, 2nd uh, chapter, we read that many Antichrists are there. You see, and in 1st John, 2nd chapter, we read that uh, this one is already secretly working inside. So this was the great Antichrist system. So the Roman uh, Empire, you see, uh, wanted to completely destroy this entire church system, though it be the false or the true church system. And to help that one happen, it drew the third part of the, you see, stars uh, in the heavenly system. What is this third part of the stars? We just now saw in the Bible, stars means actually religious leaders. Like, for example, we have a sports star, we have a film star. Similarly, these are the biblical stars. So, in those days, in the spiritual ruling power, they were 
three religions the jewish religion the christian religion and the pagan roman religion okay so among this one you see he drew one part of the stars to the ground means the romans persecuted the christians so as they were persecuted many of the apostles and all died so once then the apostles died what happened the child which was growing inside the woman was able to come outside you see was able to come outside and do its activities outside therefore this thing which is growing inside the you see the woman is the great antichrist system so let us read this verse for second thessalonians uh, second chapter 6 and 7 second thessalonians second chapter 6 and 7 brother Uh, brother, second Thessalonian, second chapter six and seven, brother. Okay, brother. Okay, wait, wait a moment. I just got on the point. And now you know what we told on that he might be relieved in his time, for the for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now lit with it until. he be taken out of the way very good see he says now the mystery of iniquity is already working uh, within until that which is taken out of the way then what will happen the, the mystery of iniquity will come to light him so, so once uh, you see the apostles uh, were standing for the lord's cause standing very strong for the truth Once they died, you see, like stars that fell down from the sky. That means once they died, you see, automatically the church got very weak. You see, and immediately what happened? The child was working secretly inside. You see, was able to come out and do its activity outside. Now, what happened to the child as soon as the child was born? Read verse five, brother. Read verse five, Revelation twelve five. Revelation twelve five it's written here, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was cast off unto God and to His throne. You see, as soon as the child was born, you see he was caught up to the throne of God it seems sir. Now what do you mean by caught up to the throne of God means that means he started to rule as God. This Antichrist once when it came to power, he immediately started to rule. As if God on this earth. Regarding this one, we have studied more detailly. You see, in the Antichrist system, how the Pope, uh, you see, came to supreme power. You see, until then there were bishops in may may many cities. So all the bishops combined to take a one Pope was there, and one Pope was a supreme ruler. Now, once uh, when this child came to power, what happened to the woman? Did verse six for that? Ah. Huh? And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her three thousand two hundred and three score days. Ah ha! See, as soon as the child was born, woman was fled into the wilderness. It seems a wilderness means what? A isolated condition where no people are staying there. You see, remember when Jesus was not allowed to preach inside the synagogues? What did he do? He went to the wilderness to preach. You see, there are so many scriptures also there. You can uh, read it later. You see, therefore she was nourished there. It seems, sir. There was she was fed there. It seems for how many days? How many days is given, brother? Most of brother, how many days is mentioned there in verse six? Sir? Uh, Mosul brother, how many days is mentioned in verse six? Three thousand two hundred and three score days. Ah, thousand. Ah, thousand two hundred and three score days. Ah, uh-huh. so thousand two hundred and ah three score days means what? Thousand two sixty days. What is this thousand two two sixty days? We have studied in the period of Antichrist. That represents ah, uh, you see the period of uh, Antichrist system. 
It began from 539 and ended in 1799. So that was the time, you see, there was a place prepared by God for this church to be fed. We, we see example of this one in the life of uh, Elijah. Elijah, once when he fled from Ahab and Jezebel, he was in the wilderness. You see, about uh, that, uh, you see, uh, uh, very next to the brook. Uh, and uh, what happened? Uh, the crow actually came and fed, uh, you see, Elijah. And uh, he was he was uh, uh, quenching his thirst from the brook, the waters of the brook. So, once when the church went to the isolated condition and Pope began to rule as a supreme ruler, so what was the condition of the Roman society that is given to us in verse 7 and 8, brother? Read, brother, verse 7 and 8. Revelation 12, 7 and 8, brother. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. Very good, brother. So it says, there was war in heaven, it seems. Sir. And what was this war? Between whom? He says, Michael and his angels, and a dragon and his angels, he seems. Sir. Now, who is this Michael? Who is this uh, dragon? Dragon, we know that it's a uh, Roman Empire. That means the pagan Roman Empire. And uh, Michael means what? Uh, hmm? Michael means generally, that's the name given to the Michael, the archangel. But here is not the original, you see, Michael, the archangel, that is Jesus Christ. But it is the counterfeit of Michael, the archangel. You see, the counterfeit Jesus Christ. Say, Mick, Michael. The word Michael means Mick plus L. Mick means what? Image of God. Yeah, You see, image of L means God. So, that tree represents the image of God. So, one who claimed that we are God on this earth, that is the great Antichrist system. There was a quarrel, you see, uh, between the supremacy of a religious leadership between the bishops, the pope, the cardinals, and between, you see, the pagan, uh, you see, worshippers, uh, you see, priest. And a priest, a wise man, soothsayers. So what happened? There was when once there was a debate when Christianity, this false Christianity, Antichrist system was growing. There was a very friction that uh, what what will happen to the pagan religion? What will happen to the pagan belief? But unfortunately, we see that there was no place found for all these uh, pagan worshippers. So entire Roman community got converted to Christianity. So automatically this pagan, you see, worship and the pagan religion totally faded out. That is what is given in verse 7 and 8 with her. Read with her, verse 7 and 8. Uh. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. And his and the dragon fought and his angels. And prevail not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. See, neither was there place found uh, anymore in heaven. There's no place for the pagan religion at all. It was totally gone and the papacy completely dominated the world. Therefore, in verse 9, it says that the great dragon was cast out. You see, the old serpent called the devil and the Satan. So, Satan was originally represented in the pagan Rome and that pagan religion was totally cast out of the picture. Now, read verse uh, Revelation 12, verse uh, 10, brother. Uh, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the acquiesce of our brethren in cast down, who is echoed them before our God day and night. You see, and there was a very loud voice in heaven saying, Now is the salvation come, you see, and the strength uh, and the kingdom of our God and the power of Christ is himself. Now when will God's kingdom come? It will come at second advent or before second advent? God's kingdom on earth, when it will be established? Before second advent or after second advent or before? After. After. But here he says, already they began to claim that this is, you see, the kingdom of our God. This is what papacy began to claim. You see that uh, this is the kingdom of God and already Christ's kingdom has started. So they began to claim that from 799 to 1799 is the thousand year reign of Christ. Okay. Therefore, we read in some of the KGB Bibles, 
you see they manipulated the verses uh, in matthew 6:13 and uh, and last thing they added for thine is the kingdom glory honor and power so those words were added in the bible so what happened you see huh the pagan rome huh, totally got converted to papal rome so this all happened you see uh, we know that it was uh, it happened when uh, uh, you see constantine the emperor got converted to christianity you see only for uh, some uh, thing which he thought that uh, uh, he saw a cross uh, when he was going for war and because of that cross uh, he won the battle therefore here it is given there clearly in verse 11 that uh, they overcame all these things by the blood of uh, uh, the lamb read with verse 11 mm. revelation 12:11 and they overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of his testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death you see how did they overcome by the blood of the lamb not by war you see the papacy never came to power huh? you see because of war now after coming to power they use this uh, you see power but before coming they never use this power you see they then the devil was so uh, you see clever that once uh, he could not achieve the things through papacy system you see the paper pagan rome system he totally converted the entire roman citizens to papacy so that is the time that pope began to rule and persecute many christians and made them you see to obey what all they claim therefore you see the satan's very wonderful trick is that first he initially opposes uh, the person but once uh, you see he begins to feel that he is wading off and is losing that power immediately his next trick is that uh, he will put shoulder upon that person and make friendship with him so that is what has happened here so the church when it began to preach the word of god and expand all its activity all over the world you see satan could not control it even after persecuting also so he thought instead of persecuting them let me use them as uh, his channels uh, to so false truth so that is how what happened uh, the entire wheat field uh, became a tear field therefore you see um, uh, in verse uh, 14 now what happens read verse 14 brother uh, let us read verse 14 hmm. and to the woman were given two wings for a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness and into her place where she is nursed for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the separate serpent ah uh, see here it says the woman was given the two wings of the great eagle is himself now mother mary was given two wings uh, where did she have any wings uh? so this is not a literal you see chapter at all this is a symbolic statement uh, yeah the woman means what the church she was given the wings of a great eagle uh, you see to be uh, uh, to be nourished in the wilderness the wilderness means what we saw it was a isolated condition the church once when the papacy was ruling it was totally in the isolated condition it was nowhere recognized at all she was almost like in a dead condition but god had prepared a place and help her to sustain it by how by giving uh, you see the wings of a eagle now you tell me what is the meaning of uh, eagle in the bible eagle's wing means what uh, always the eagle's wings in the bible represents word of god uh, you see uh, let us read exodus 19:4 brother exodus 19:4 brother ha uh. Okay, Exodus 19:4 is written here. You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings mm. and brought you unto myself. Mm. Now I bear you upon eagles' wings. So there it was a word of God. You see that sustained the people of Israel and brought them safe to the Canaan, you see, the land. And it is also given in Ezekiel 10:5 and Deuteronomy also. So always in the Bible you see the eagle's wings represents uh, you see the word of god now 
Wings means how many parts will be there? How many wings will be there? It will be only one wing or two wings? Uh, there is two wings. Two wings. Uh, so two wings of the Bible is uh, which one? I think it's an Old and New Testament. Very good. Brother. So Old and New Testament. These are the things that help the church to sustain in a very isolated condition. As Elijah, Elijah was sustained by a crow. You see the bird gave him the food. So similarly, the word of God sustained the real, the true church. And there was no rain for three and a half years in during Elijah period. So similarly, there was no word of God at all. You see, there was no rain. There was no blessings, you see, to the church. But at the end of 1260 days, now what happened? The period is over. That means now again the woman should come back from the wilderness to the city. That means uh, the woman, she is, uh, the church who is living in an isolated condition where nobody knows, where none of the world knows. But again, she has to be brought back to the condition where the world will recognize her that the, she is the true church. Now will Satan keep quiet? No, Satan will not keep quiet. Now what did Satan do? That is given in verse 15, brother. Revelation 12, 15, brother. Huh? And the serpent there cast out of his mouth water as a flood. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Mm. You see, there we see that the serpent cast out of his mouth a water like a flood after the woman that uh, she might, uh, you see, be carried away in the flood. Now, what is the meaning of this water? You see, the Rome uh, Empire. That is the papal uh, uh, Roman Empire. Water uh, in the Bible always means, uh, you see, the word of God. Uh, you see, uh, from the mouth of the dragon means what? Uh, from evil sources. Uh, you see, the proclamation of uh, so many things. Uh, you see, from the evil sources, what, uh, what came it seems? Uh, the truth came out it seems. Uh, so, the, still now, the papacy was restraining the truth. Uh, but... At the end of uh, this uh, papal rule in 1799, many of the truth came from evil sources, uh, you see, that helped the woman to sustain life. Now, what was that one? You see, that was, uh, you see, the truth about uh, aristocracy. You see, you see the kings uh, and the princes, uh, they used to dominate, they used to collect huge taxes from the people. And just to burden them while the people were never having sufficient of food. So what happened? You see, the people revolted against this system and they completely dethroned the entire, you see, society. All the kings and the princes were brought to street and they were systematically slaughtered and all the wealth was looted. So this is the revolution. This is the truth about injustice that came out from evil source. That means... Why did the Satan cast uh, this, uh, you see, uh, society, uh, this, uh, this, uh, you see, facts about uh, injustice in the society is that uh, that he might cause a great revolution, a great revolt. So that in this revolt, when he is persecuting the other people, he might also completely persecute and kill the true church. But unfortunately, his idea did not work out because God had a plan which is very different. Now, what was that one? Read verse 16, brother. Verse 16, brother, please. Uh, Master, brother, verse 16, can you read? Okay, brother, on verse 16. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out on his mouth. See, the earth is for the water, it seems. Earth means what? Society. We have studied in the three worlds, no? The heaven and the earth. You see, the invisible spiritual rulership. And the earth means the society. Here, the society digested the truth. The injustice. Instead of revolting against the church in this great French Revolution, you see, the opposite thing happened. All the aristocratic leaders... And wealthy persons were brought to justice and they were systematically slaughtered. And since then what happened? You see, there was a great flood. 
Uh, in Elijah's period, what happened? There was a great rain. So similarly, there was a great flood. You see, the aristocratic rules of the kings ended. Uh, and since then, there was a great flood. The uh, Bible began to be printed in all the languages. Bible societies were opened in all over the world. You see, the Protestants revolted against the papacy. The Bible was translated in all the languages. Uh, so women who was in the wilderness... Uh, she again returned to prominence. Therefore, you see, we read uh, that, uh, you see, these truths were not at all found until recent times. Because in 1799, the great papacy system ended and, uh, you see, the truth uh, began to be expounded loudly and began to be preached everywhere. Now, we'll say that, keep it uh, uh -huh. He knows that his time is very short. Read, brother. Uh, read verse 17, brother. Verse 17. Revelation 12, 17, brother. Okay, brother. Two lesson was 17. And the dragon was worth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seeds, which kept the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He knows that his time is very short. But um, because... Once that uh, seed of the woman is totally complete, immediately he said, will be the first thing that will be crushed by the church and Christ. Therefore, dear brethren, Revelation 12 chapter gives us a complete picture, a symbolic picture about the great Antichrist system, how Antichrist system was secretly growing inside the church and how because of the persecution of the Roman Empire, you see, the church was totally, you see, uh, dead and that is the time that the Antichrist as a child began to come out and to sit on a throne and rule. And during that time, you see, the church was in the wilderness condition. She was not recognized. She was uh, totally isolated. But yet, uh, God had prepared her a place with the eagle's two wings, the Old Testament and New Testament that sustained the church, you, you see, during this period and helped them to grow. Therefore, they were then so this again pictures the Antichrist system, which was from 539 to 1799. Since 1799, the Antichrist system rule of civil and uh, uh, political power and religious power is totally ended. But still Pope is there, but it doesn't have any power. In the coming days, uh, even those things, uh, you see, will come again to power, but uh, it will be not, for a, not be for a more time, but it will be totally, you see, destroyed.